Hello friends and welcome to virtual story time at the Chippewa River District Library. Will you join me in singing the hello song? Hello friends, hello friends, hello friends, it's time to say hello. Welcome to story time. Today at story time we are talking all about pigs. And I have the perfect book with one of my favorite pig characters in it. It's Elephant and Piggy. Here it is. There are all kinds of Elephant and Piggy books out there. They star in a lot of different books by Mo Willems. They're great um, for story time books or even a beginning reader if you're just starting to learn how to read. And Piggy is one of my favorite characters. This particular book is called We Are In a Book. And look, our friend Piggy, he's pulling the pages back. Hmm, I wonder what's going to happen in this book. We are in a book! There's Piggy and Gerald. Gerald looks a little surprised in this picture, doesn't he? His speech bubble has an exclamation point. And he's going, hmm, what do you think he's surprised about? Maybe he just learned something. Piggy? Yes, Gerald? I think someone is looking at us. Hmm, who do you think Gerald sees looking? Hmm. Someone is looking at us. Who is looking at us? A monster? No, it is a reader. A reader is reading us. Have you ever read a book where the characters in the book can see you reading the book? Whoa, that's kind of funny, isn't it? What do you think will happen at the end of the book? I'll put a link in the description below so you can check this book out from our library. Will you join me for a rhyme? Do you remember the story of the three little pigs? How the big bad wolf comes and huff and puffs and blows their house down? Let's see if we can do a rhyme about the three little pigs. Let's start off with three fingers for the three little pigs. Three little piggies sitting in a house. Along came the wolf as quiet as a mouse. He said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. But not by the hair of our chinny chin chin. So that old wolf huffed and that old wolf blew. <gasps> and away one of the little piggies flew. How many are left? One, two. Two little piggies sitting in a house. Along came the wolf as quiet as a mouse. He said, little pig, little pigs, let me come in. Not by the hair on our chinny chin chins. So that old wolf huffed and that old wolf blew. <gasps> and away one of the little piggies flew. How many are left? One, one little piggy. One little piggy sitting in a house. Along came the wolf as quiet as a mouse. He said, little pig, little pig, let me come in. Not by the hair on my chinny chin chin. So that old wolf huffed and that old wolf blew. <sighs> and away the last little piggy flew. How many are left now? Oh no, none are left. What are we gonna do? Let's try one more time and see what happens. No little piggies sitting in the house. Along comes the wolf as quiet as a mouse. He says, little pig, little pig, let me come in. But there was no one there to answer him. So that old wolf turned and walked away. He said, I'll be back another day. And those three little piggies into their beds did creep and they fell fast asleep. The end. Good job, thanks for helping me tell that story. Hello, it's time to write the word pig. Grab a pencil and paper, let's write it together. Since we're learning all about pigs today, that is our word to write. P 
pig. And just a reminder, no matter how you're practicing, even if you're not quite writing what I am yet, any pen on paper activity is great pre-writing practice. So just keep practicing and have fun. Let's start with P. What's this letter I'm writing now? I, look at that, you dot the I. And last letter. G, G, there's the G. The G goes all the way down past the line, doesn't it? P, I, G, P, I, G, pig. It's time to sing a song. This song is called The Tale of a Pig, and it's all about the different parts you find on a pig, starting with the tail. If you know the song The Wheels on the Bus, this has the same tune, so you can follow along with me as I sing it. First, we're gonna talk about the tail of the pig, the curly little tail. Can you make a curly tail with your finger? The tail on the pig goes round and round, round and round round and round the tail on the pig goes round and round all through the mud <sniffs> next we're going to talk about the mouth of a pig the snout on a pig kind of looks like you're making a fist and you're putting it over your mouth like this can you sing the snout on the pig goes oink 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 Oink, 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 the snout on the pig goes oink, 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 all through the mud. <sniffs> Good job! Next, we're going to talk about the feet of the pig. A pig has hooves on their feet, so we're going to talk about hooves for this pig, and we're going to run with our hooves, so get ready to run. The hooves on the pig go run, 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 run. Run, 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 the hooves on the pig go run, 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 all through the mud. <sniffs> For our final verse, let's talk about the ears of a pig. Can you get your ear pig ears ready? The ears of a pig go twitch, 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 twitch. The ears of a pig go twitch, 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 all through the mud. <sniffs> Good job, thank you for singing that song with me. Friends, I'm very excited because in the next segment of this video, we are going to be making something. We're gonna be making these pig cookies. That looks delicious, doesn't it? So stay tuned and I'll tell you how I made this cookie and you can follow along and make one at home. Okay, let's start with our cookies. I've already made two and I've got one more we're gonna to do together. You'll need icing a marshmallow, two mini marshmallows, four chocolate chips, and some Poland Peel licorice. We're going to start off by spreading our icing onto our cookie. I got some pink strawberry icing which makes a really good pig color. So this is going to be our pig's face. Next rip a marshmallow in half and that's going to be the snout and I couldn't find any flavored marshmallows, so I just put some more icing on my snout. Next, you're gonna need two chocolate chips for the nose of the pig, and another two for the eyes. And then finally, I ripped my mini marshmallow in half, or cut it, and that makes the ears. For the tail, I took a piece of Poland Peel licorice, and I just squeezed a couple of loops in there and that makes a tail for the pig. And voila, our pigs are finished and they are delicious. Yum, that was delicious. Well friends, it's time for the end of our program. Will you join me in singing the goodbye song? Goodbye friends, goodbye friends, goodbye friends. It's time to say goodbye. See you next time.